Welcome, Ms. Lavanya Nalli. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Ma'am, my first question to you would be, uh, has the pandemic impacted your product offering or sales channel in any way? And do you see, uh, you know, just going back to the origin? So the pandemic has had quite a disruptive uh, impact on most industries, including ours. And I feel for the better. In our case, we always had an e-commerce offering, Nali.com, that was started five years ago. But the last two years with the pandemic was when if anybody really wanted a wedding sari or something for a function and they trusted the brand name, it was quality that they could trust and most other brands um, that had those values were all offline stores. And so we benefited from that influx of customers who started shopping from us online. And as a result of that, as a channel, we have heavily invested in it on multiple parameters and so the website is faster, a lot of our consumer uh, experiences and policies are much friendlier and we've only been growing year on year. So I think overall um, it had a very rocky start but we've made the most of the crisis and now it looks like an excellent opportunity and a channel that's here to stay. And where do you see the Indian fashion industry five years down the line? So I always say that every five years in India is a generational change. Right. And um, we were just hearing the statistics in the conference mm -hmm. that 50% of India is now below the age of 25. 65% uh, is below the age of 35. Right. So if that's the India that we're looking at, these are um, people and consumers and future consumers and current consumers who have grown up digitally native. So we really are looking at a very integrated world, at a very seamless world, where I think the digital native consumers have grown up in a environment of abundance and an environment of convenience, whether it's you know digital phone, access to information at their fingertips, um, any product that you want, even if you're in a small city somewhere, if it's a big brand, most likely it is available on one of the big e-commerce right. platforms. And you have, through those e-commerce platforms, access to the entire range which typically wasn't possible for smaller uh, cities and smaller towns. True. So I think that's the landscape that retailers and business owners now need to play in. And the next point of digital technology these days is the metaverse. So does that intrigue you uh, in any way? Do you think it's a fad? Is it really a disruption for the fashion world? What are your thoughts? I think only time will tell. Okay. <laughs> but um, most of the big disruptions, if you see, start off as small, interesting, cool ideas that no one really anticipated would become um, as big as it did. Thank you so much, Ms. Lavanya Nali. It was really nice chatting with you today. Thank you. Thank you for having me Thank here today. You.